So now we've cut the skirting and we've reamed and deburred the edges of the skirting, it's now time to start to build each piece as we go along. We're going to use this sheet as a reference to tell us which way these little spectacle clips in. Some of them go on the back, some of them go on the front, as you can see the universal clips. We're going to follow this sheet and see how we get on. So starting off with the TRV, on the instructions you can clearly see that the TRV clip says to be clipped at the back. So to insert the clip, we're going to put it into these sort of little guidelines within the aluminium. Sort of insert it in there and using my very abused hammer, we're going to tap the clip in like that. We're just going to flip the skirting round and the opposite side we're going to have the flexible connector kits. Now the flexible connector kits on the instructions will tell you that the clip needs to face the front. So again, we're going to offer that into the guides in the aluminium. Tap this in. When we install in the flexible connector kits, we need to make sure that we're going to be lubing each individual component before we install it into the skirting. So using the provided silicon grease, we're going to put plenty of grease on the O-rings. Let's make sure that they're fully covered. And another little tip is that these have little flatted screw connections here. If we keep them facing the top of the skirting, if we ever need to nip them up, we can always get a flat screwdriver in there and nip it up. If they was facing the bottom, we obviously wouldn't be able to get a screwdriver in there. So that's a, a little tip. So we're gonna insert the spectacle clip in, make sure it's locked into the lug, so they can grease the second one. Again, make sure that the screw heads are facing up. Push that in there, spin it around, and we can start to insert this into the TRV. Before we do that, we're going to silicon grease the TRV connection also. Make sure we've got silicon all over the O-rings. We're now going to insert the locking bar into the centre of the clip. Once we've started to put the locking bar in place, we can start to locate the O-rings into the actual oval aluminium. Now another little tip is at the back of the clip, there's a cage at the back there which we fix to the wall. If we was to push this into the connector, there's a chance that the back of the spectacle clip will actually catch the cage. So we're just going to use a little flat screwdriver and just pry the cage back ever so slightly just to allow the spectacle clip to engage with the pit. And you'll hear this noise. And as you can see, it's clearly engaged. So let's get the first piece on the wall mounting brackets. So we're going to slide the skirting up to the wall mounting brackets and at the bottom of the brackets you've got a slide um, where you can slide the skirting up and that's the first part of it engaging into the clip. You do that on both sides. Once it's engaged onto the bottom of the clip you simply just push the skirting back and that's the first piece in. So the next piece of skirting is the connection to the flexi kit. So this is actually flexi kit to flexi kit. So the clips are actually on the front so just follow the instructions again on this page and it tells you that the clips are at the front. So we're going to push the flexible connector kits into the fitting, like so. We're going to clip these ones in on the internal side also, like that. And again, we're going to push it up the ramp and push it back. Piece number two is done. Piece number three is external 45 going into an internal 90. So as you can see, the clip position is exactly the same as the rest of the flexi kits, positioned to the front. However, you'll notice on this side there actually is no spectacle clip at all, and that's to allow the expansion of the skirting on each individual internal corner. So we're going to make sure we grease the internal elbows up. Again, plenty of grease on there. It really is key to put plenty of grease on there. When we're putting the elbow into the skirting, make sure we're putting the long side of the elbow in, leaving the short side out. And when you've put it in there, just back it in and out a few times just to get the silicon on the sleeve of the aluminium. We're going to grease both of these up. And again, we're going to back the elbow in and out just to get silicon there on the sleeve. The next step is to engage the external 45 flexi kit into the clip. Just going to push that in. One, 
two. Start to feed the skirting around the corner onto the ramp of the clip again. Up she goes. Push it back. And that's the noise that we want. And that's clipped in nice and safe. So we're now on to piece number four. The difficult part of this is actually now complete. Uh, the flexible is probably as difficult as it gets, really. So the next piece is internal to internal. And the first red flag, well, the first thing that I class as a red flag is when I always see the short side of an elbow sticking out, that automatically tells me that I need a clip on my next piece of skirting. So the first side of the skirting, and again, it refers to this in the instructions, the first side of the skirting will need one of these little clips in there. And this is going, going to go in the back of the aluminium. On the opposite side, we are going to grease up two more elbows. And again, long side in, short side out. And also repeating what we've done on previous internal corners. Once you've done that, we're going to put the uh, elbows right into the skirting. This will allow us to get the next piece on nice and easy, just like it is in this first corner. So, when we get to this internal corner now, we're just going to align the skirting in with the fitting and we're going to get a bit we're going to we're going to go off noise on this one we want to make sure that the clip slides down the back of the fitting we're just going to offer the skirting up to the o-rings give it a bit of a wiggle and you want to hear the noise of the clip engaging into the connector like that so now we're going to push the skirting onto the ramp of the bracket slide up the first one like that the second one it's also engaged, and the third one. Push the skirting back, and it's all clipped in place. Moving on to the next piece, it's exactly like we've just done with the previous piece. So we're gonna put the spectacle clip facing the back. Little tap with the mallet. Make sure that's engaged. So we're gonna do the same as the previous piece. We're gonna put the spectacle clip in the back. Give that a bit of a tap with the hammer. Make sure it's fully engaged. Grease up another couple of elbows. Line the skirting up. Give it a wiggle. That's the noise we want. Push it up to the ball mounting brackets. Up the ramp, two and three. And just fold it back. So the next piece we're going from internal to external. Now this piece will need clipping on both ends. An internal, as we've seen on the previous two pieces, the spectacle clip will go to the back of the aluminium and on the external side it faces the front of the aluminium. We're going to push this piece in without the elbows in this side because we find it easier to push the next piece in and this will make more sense as I'm putting this together. So the first piece, we slide in place, like so. We put it onto the wall mounting bracket, listen for the clip, and the second clip. And the last piece, I've built up with the return manifold in. So again, you can see on an external corner, as per this external corner, and also referring back to the instructions, the external corner tells you that the spectacle clip should be on the front, and this is also the, the case for the return manifold as well, where the spectacle clip will be on the front also. Okay, so we are now gonna push this last piece of skirting, align the O-rings up with the fitting of, with the aluminium, give her a push, clip on the bottom, clip on the top. So, just to summarize, this sheet is the most important document you can have. It's going to show you the cutting allowances, the orientation of the clips and the deburring. If you get stuck at any point, scan the QR code and this will take you back to the video.